Hey guys, welcome back to another Plan With Me Monday. In today's video, I wanted to do a mixed media. So this is gonna be from scratch. And here I've got some of my DIY alcohol inks. Um, I'll go ahead and link the video down below that I made those um, in. They're from Dollar Tree and all I made them with was from some alcohol and some permanent markers. I also have some just random watercolors, some random acrylic paint. Um, I've got this spackling putty from Dollar Tree and some paint brushes. So I cut out two pieces of watercolor paper um, the same size as my pieces of paper that go in my planner and I'm actually going to back them onto um, my planner pages because I want them to flow smoothly in my planner. So right now I'm just laying down some water and I didn't know how the alcohol ink was going to like play with the um, water. So this is me experimenting and I love the way it looks. So it repels it. I had no idea. Um, so if you want to get out things and just kind of play with how different mixed media work with each other, I suggest you do that because that's basically what I'm doing here. I'm just getting out, um, you know, all the different mixed media that I have and I'm just seeing how it works with each other. So I had no idea that if you put water down and spray alcohol ink over it, or at least the DIY alcohol inks that I have here, I had no idea that it would do that. And so now I'm dropping some of it on and it doesn't look like it does it as well when you drop it on as when you spray it. So that's a little bit different, but that's really all I'm gonna do here is just go in and start playing with all of this different stuff here. Since I don't have all spray bottles, I went ahead and stole one of the sprayers from the orange um, bottle and I put it on top of the pink one because I like the way that the sprayed look works. So I just went ahead and stole a sprayer from another one. I really like the way that that looks. I think it looks super cool.
So now that I've done the whole water theme background, I gotta go in and do some, you know, splashing of the watercolors because isn't that what we all do with watercolors? We gotta do the splattering. And, you know, I had to have been wearing a white tank top because isn't that just the law of nature to be wearing a white tank top while you're doing watercolor splattering? And of course I got it all over, but it should wash out. It's not a big deal. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of flicking on some watercolor splatters and then I will move on to the next texture that I want to layer on. I'm just winging it here, guys. I literally just have this stuff in front of me and I'm just winging it. So like I said, grab your um, paints, your, I don't, like I said, if you have texture paste or, you know, your jewels, uh, your ribbon, um, different, uh, different papers, you know, get into your scrap papers. You can lay that stuff down too. Just whatever you have your stamps. I'll be using stamps here in a little bit too. Just get all that stuff out. And that's what mixed media is all about is using everything together and seeing what you can come up with. So here's some of that spackle from the Dollar Tree. And as you can see, it does not spread. It is very crumbly. So what I did was I originally had it on top of a piece of um, like chiffon. And so I was gonna apply it like that and then take the chiffon off and I thought it would leave a really cool pattern. But as you can see, I can't even get it to stick to the paper. That's how like dry it is. It almost feels like clay. So I decided to go ahead and go in and put the chiffon on top of it and it's still not like sticking or giving me like a good texture. So I'm gonna put some water on it. And do I suggest doing this? Not really. It did dry, but it didn't dry like super hard. It still has like a really chalky residue to it even after I let it dry overnight. So I probably would not suggest doing that. It did give it really good texture, but I probably would not suggest doing that because of the way that it dries. It just dries really like chalky and um, not real hard like a texture paste would. So I would say get the extra money and go out and get yourself some texture paste. All I grabbed here was my Memento Black stamping ink and this um, stamp. It's actually one of those stamps that you put on an acrylic block, but I just didn't put it on the acrylic block because I wanted to be able to push it down in some areas and not in others to kind of give it that faded out look. So it says with heartfelt thanks, but I didn't want it to necessarily show all the words. I just wanted to give it, see I wanted it to kind of fade and that's really all I wanted to do with this thing. I didn't want it to say with heartfelt thanks all over my page. I just wanted to give the appearance of words and letters. So that's why I stamped that all over the place. And then you'll see me go in with some other stamps too. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I do kind of the same thing even with my wooden block stamps. So I'll put it in the ink, but then I'll only press it like really lightly on one side and hard on the other, just so you can see the idea of words, but you don't necessarily get to read the words because it's not the words that are important. It's just that you see letters and 
in words. Know what I mean? Is some acrylic paint and you could possibly water this down you could add alcohol to it you could put it on I don't know bubble wrap you could dip it into lace I mean there's so many things that you could do to get a texture I just happened to grab some more of the wax paper and ripped it off and now I'm just gonna kind of like smudge it to see if I can get you know a good texture of that and then rip it up and then just kind of go and stamp that. So again, just kind of use what you have around you and that's what, again, mixed media is all about. It's just kind of using what you have on hand and just layering media. I think that's what I really like the look of when you just layer different types of media and see what you can create. And it just has so many different um, just textures and, and layers. And I guess some people don't like mixed media, but um, I just, I don't know, I like the diversity of it.
So this is actually the next day. I let it set overnight because like I said, that paste was not, that spackling paste was not drying. So I am going ahead and grabbing some white cardstock because I wanted to be able to put the cardstock in so I could have somewhere to write my days of the week. So I went ahead and measured those down to a two by four and then I thought I don't want them to be too stark white so I decided I was going to kind of scuff them up with some ink. So you'll see me scuffing them up with some ink and then I decide that they're still too perfect so I rip one of them <laughs> and then I put them on there and just decorate them. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this part and we'll get to the planning process. This little blending tool you see me use is nothing more than a um, eyeshadow brush that I got at the Dollar Tree when they were real popular. I don't know if they still have them. My Dollar Tree doesn't, but they were over in the cosmetic section over with all the makeup. And I use it all the time for inking up edges. I absolutely love it because it seems to blend out really, really nice because it's got all the fine bristles and hairs in it. So I'm going darker on some and lighter on others just to make sure it's not too perfect. I'm sticking these down with this double-sided tape that I got at none other than the Dollar Tree. I did not know that the Dollar Tree even sold double-sided tape. And to tell you the truth, kind of impressed. Kind of impressed with the double-sided tape at the Dollar Tree. It is pretty good quality, to tell you the truth. So found that at one of, not of course my local Dollar Tree. God forbid my local Dollar Tree should have anything cool like that. Um, had to go, you know, 45 minutes out of the way. But still not complaining because at least they have it. So definitely check out a couple. It's worth driving 45 minutes to get double side. And it's a good size roll of double-sided sticky tape for a dollar especially if you're just doing crafts for pen pals and things like that. I would not try to use it on any crafts that I sell because, you know, quality. But for Happy Mail and things like that, yes, I will definitely be going and buying more of it. I only bought one roll because I didn't know how well it was going to, you know, be. I didn't know how good it was going to be. So I only bought one roll, but definitely going back to see if they have more.
All right, now I'm gonna get the sticker books out and I'm gonna get some stickers laid out. I'm going to put some dates on these boxes and I'm gonna go ahead and write out what I need to do for the week. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to Chaotic Mom to keep up with all of my Plan With Me Mondays. Plus, I have a ton of other videos. I have DIYs, I have crafting videos, I have cleaning videos. I have all sorts of videos on this channel. So go ahead and scroll through my old videos, see if something interests you. I hope that I gave you some motivation to plan for your week. It feels so much better to have a plan. So go ahead and get out those planners and jot down what you got to do this week. I hope that you enjoyed the video. I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye.